We found the fireworks place, wanna check it out. I'm gonna probably buy some fireworks for for New Year's. Let's go inside and see if I can film a little bit without anybody dictating that I'm doing it. These guys are pretty friendly. You can find his place here, uh, I don't know, near the Confusion Corner near uh, Osborne Avenue. And they've got a nice selection of fireworks. I was digging through some of my old boxes and I realized that I've got some skates. Like every decent Canadian should. I completely forgot that I had them. And of course, there is a little skating rink uh, right next to my mom's house. So I decided, since nobody wants to go out anywhere today, babies are being in their bums. I decided I was gonna take advantage of some time and go out and do a little skating. Of course, it's been a very long time since I last went skating. So I have no idea how this is gonna go. same source. Well, it's Christmas today. We're on Christmas Eve, 24th. Marlene and Liam have decided they're gonna be staying at home. So I guess it's a stay at home kind of day for them. So it's really nice and sunny, but it is nippy. And if the wind picks up, you can really feel it. So I hope the wind won't pick up. So this video kind of stretched over three or four days, I guess. And every single day kind of blends into the other. Not much happens. We stay at home most of the time. We go out here locally. We don't travel too far away from home. Just traveling in Canada in winter. I don't know. Long distance travel is not something I want to do per se. What are the things we've done? We went to uh, Polo Park a couple of days ago. I thought I was gonna record a longer video but that didn't happen because I mean what's there to record in Polo Park? Molly and Liam weren't too impressed. Not a big deal. Not something that catches the kids sight. The next day Liam and I went out to uh, Kalolan Park and it drove us and we spent an hour out on the hill but it was very cold. It was overcast and Liam lasted for about an hour I think maybe even less and then we packed it in and went back home. We were freezing our Zoom goes off. And then the following day, yesterday, we went out to, uh, to the same hill to Kilolan Park with Mali. It was just the three of us. It was a day like, like today, I think maybe a little windier. And we lasted for another 40 minutes before we packed it in again as well. December and uh, Mali decided they're staying in so that's what we're doing we're staying in and since I found the skates literally this ice sheet look at that it hasn't been touched I'm the first one to start messing around on it so that's nice
telling me that we should have come here in summer because there would be a lot more to do. And in winter, we're, you know, we're stuck in a house basically because I think Molly and Liam have realized how bloody cold it is. And they prefer to stay in the warm than be outside. And also, because of the temperatures, their skin, because they're so tender, still babies. Baby skin is very soft and so they get uh, quite cold very fast. So remember, children, put on some cream on your faces before you go out, otherwise your skin could crack and cause some permanent damage. But I guess I want to talk a little bit about the whole reversal, reversal culture shock that everybody talks about. I must say, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I haven't really experienced anything that would shock me to the core over being back. Without a shred of exaggeration, um, I don't feel like I'm out of place here. The winters are cold, but I mean, not winters. I think the only thing about Winnipeg is not necessarily the winter and the cold, it's the duration of it. Winnipeg winters last for like six months, which really can get under your skin after such a long period. Wow, these shoes are killing my feet, man, they're hard on the insoles. Winnipeg's kind of an odd city. It can be really beautiful on a sunny day when it's not too windy and not too cold. But then at other times, in a place where you'd not want to live and how people manage to live here may be beyond anybody's comprehension. You sip wine, I drink straight, don't waste time to my place. The city managed to get out and clear the sidewalks. I assume it's done by the city, no idea. But now it's actually, the sidewalks are passable, as are the streets. Normally, when it snows, they let it be. Once it stops snowing, the plows come out. And you can actually begin to start walking on sidewalks again, because otherwise, you're up to your knees in snow. Holy mackerel, it's Darth Vader. Vader guarding the house, and Yoda. Listen all night in the sheets all black Said I'm falling fast Don't remember life before you, that's fact I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Are you guys gonna eat? Eat your food It's gonna be new But you gotta eat I'm not hungry My mom cooked up a storm Mom soup with the red bars <laughs> We got red borscht with some fish. What's this? Bigos. 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 Oh yeah. No meat, bigos. Some fish, more fish, and pierogies. What? Why do we eat meat? Why can't we eat meat? Because uh. it's tradition. You eat meat tomorrow. Stuff that people have been doing for a long time and they continue doing Why? them because they're tradition. Why? Can I eat this? Wait, no. Yes, yes. yes. It's for eating, but you gotta share. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so uh, what I can share for you, you know, that's the best share that's, you know, maybe uh, next year I'll be staying the same, same people and uh, maybe your mom will be with us too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can eat it all. It's good, right? Delicious. Mm. Try the mandu. It's mandu soup. Poke it, it's crack it open. Different way. Yeah. It's red. Do I have to yeah. eat it all? Eat as much as you can. <laughs> What's Mali doing? <laughs> eat! Stop meditating. <laughs> Mali serving kimchi for Christmas dinner. I mean, ketchup as Christmas dinner. My goodness. Kids of mine. Pierogies are so yummy. Kids of mine. I mean a paper. Hello, my 
my name is Steve Boom. No. Well, <clears throat> so that's that's our Christmas. We, today we had a traditional dinner. Molly, Liam, how was the dinner tonight? Okay. I didn't like the beet soup. You didn't like the beet soup. What about the other stuff? What else did you eat? Fish, fish, rice. Yeah, fish, fish, rice. So the other stuff was pretty good. Um, tomorrow we're gonna have uh, traditional Western Christmas dinner, turkey, turkey and uh, meat, because that's tradition. No meat on Christmas Eve. Meat gets to be consumed, or we get to consume meat tomorrow. So. Is not meat? Not technically, no. Anyway, so that's it for this video. This is, was like a three day long video on the making. Make sure to smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, come back for more. And uh, in the meantime, let's say Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas. Do it! Do it! Let's do it together, ready? One, two, three. Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Bye bye. Bye bye. In the sheets all black. Said I'm falling.